Today we're going to be hiking to Lake Ingalls, which is a hike we typically don't do except for larch season, but I've seen way too many photos of just how pretty the partially melted lake is right now and I want to see it in something other than fall. And honestly, overall when Lingles is melted out it's not our favorite lake i think more of the magic is in the larches before you even get to the lake so today should be a little bit different now i packed way too much camera stuff in case we see uh, goats or other wildlife and in that process i totally forgot one of my most important things for this time of year which is a buff and i like to wear the buff on my neck especially when we're in the snow combined with the sun because then that helps protect my neck so now I got to be very cautious not to get burnt today, which there's probably a pretty high likelihood considering the elevation and how sunny it's supposed to be. So Ingalls is about nine miles round trip with 2,500 feet elevation gain. So let's get started. So sometimes when I bring my big lens, I wonder why I do it to myself having to carry an extra, I don't know, like four pounds in my pack just for one lens. But it's moments like that where you got the goats and the babies and all sorts of stuff right there next to you that a lens like that comes into play and totally makes it worth it. The trips where you don't get anything like that, then you question your sanity. But definitely on this one, I knew there was goats that were around here and I was hoping we'd see them and we got lucky. Lucky for us, even more goats came up to say hi. But unlucky for the goats that were just minding their own business, this group of people that didn't allow it to mind its own business just started throwing rocks at them. So please leave the wildlife alone. And yes, you can say, you know, hey bear, hey goat to get them to go away, but don't throw stuff at them. They're not gonna do anything to you unless you aggravate them and piss them off. Come on. Super cool. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is do what's called focus stacking, where you set your focus point in a bunch of different spots in the same image, and then you combine them all into a really sharp image. And if it turns out, I'll definitely post that at the end of this video. I'm just trying to focus snack. 
not into the focus stacking thing. Oh yeah, this hike was a huge W. And I have to say, I think it's a lot prettier now than it is in the fall, even with the larches. You get a little bit of larch section, but that's about it. Plus in the fall, you get a million people up here as well. Right now, it's not that busy and it's pretty quiet. You do have to be a little bit cautious with the snow as it's melting out. Uh, you start running into snow patches around 55, 5,800 feet. So just keep that in mind, but Overall, it was a really good day. We saw a marmot, we saw lots of goats, we saw some baby goats. Definitely worth it. <laughs> Payback. Happy. <laughs>